Um, with with the you got the you got the make the Stein video. Yeah. Cause so why why they were going not going at make the Stein so much? It's kind of. Wait, why was he going at her? Can you pause? It? All right, so her she dropped she she dropped the song. It was a fire song. I don't I actually don't remember the name of the song, but she, and then she was dating a rapper for a while, a partisan Fontaine, and it was just kind of talking about him. So he replied in the song because he's a he's a rapper, but he like he smoked the I ain't gonna lie, he smoked he the blue. Yeah, he be writing I heard, a lot of people. I, I heard he I heard like blues. little the bits and pieces about like he said something about like yo you, you know uh he said a whole bunch damn, of shit I in can't there. Quote it right but now. now that with him he found out. In front of the world, like at Tory, like at Tory Lane's trial of all the shit, of like all the dudes that she was actually fucking, because she lied to him about all that shit, about the baby, about Tory Lane's, about all that shit. To when he, when they went to trial, he actually found out was when when he first found out. That's fucked up. Yeah, that- he was ready to fight all these dudes, dropping this song. Why he was wilding, embarrassed. The whole time she was giving up the cootie cat. All right, so this is what she said. Where's she at? Hold up. It's like nobody be listening to my music. They be like, oh, Megan Thee Stallion. I cannot believe she likes to have sex. <laughs> I cannot believe Megan Thee Stallion fucks. <laughs> I think that's her. We shall be. Huh? Took a no, but I am turning over, you know, a new leaf. Oh my God. And I'm stingy with the cootie cat. I'm not a freak anymore. You could just tell she's just saying the things opposite. just oh to God. say it. I'm done. I'm done with the streets. So toxic in the streets. <laughs> I'm tired of the streets. She doesn't believe her herself. Yeah, yeah, she does. You could just tell in her demeanor, her tone, the way she's even treating the matter. Like I'm going to say oh, something, though. And, and and I don't know, like, yeah. making the salient too well. But I've noticed this trend, and I think we can go into this topic of Women change their tone about their approach to this based on their age. And I don't know Megan, but is she between like 28 or 30? So I think she's under 30. I think she's no, between 28 or 30. Those two specific years. You just keep going with your point. The reason I say this is I've noticed that women normally, when they hit that window, when 30 is close approaching, they change their tone and they're like, uh, right now I'm going to go celibate or... I'm looking for the right person. They are like, I'm not giving it up as easy. Yeah. I'm not going to like. It's usually right around that time frame. I she, just... turned, she turned 28 this year. Oh, so she is 28. Yeah, <laughs> but I like at the at the beginning. You might be. Wrong. I'm not saying that you're that you're wrong or anything, but because I, I I don't know the stats on that. That's funny though. But um, <laughs> at the beginning, she was she was like um, mocking is uh, academics. So like going in on her about her giving like fucking a whole bunch of people in the industry. So I don't know if that's like a like an age. Like I think for for like the average woman, for regular women, whatever, like non famous women. Period. Yeah, I think that that's a real thing now. Nah, but for her, I think I think that's bullshit. Uh, like I think nah, I, she said. Like, I don't think it's a hundred percent a lie because you you have the people of Hoochie McCullough, the one that had the kid with the Kardashian, the blue black China. Like she turned her life around. She got to be in her thirties. In, into her thirties, like that's when she started to like switch everything over. But that's what I'm saying. Like, there's this. I can name you 40 year old hoes. Sure, I guarantee you. But that's not most. Like, I, like now, pay attention. Now that you heard this thing out loud, and you're gonna notice that women, as they hit those ages, they start changing their tune. Mm-hmm. They change their tone, but do they change their actions? So that's that's the. Because I can tell you, <laughs> she changed her. She changed her her what she uh. like the message, but it was still giving all the same energy from before. All the same energy. Same all message. The same vibes. But you're still in the same shit. So it's like, what are, what are we really talking about? No, I get it. I'm just saying her. It, it just happened that she happened to be 28. Yeah, and no, I don't know can, you can I don't change. know if it's a program that tells you as soon as 28 hits, I got to need to start saying things differently. Because you can't have kids for like you, you, so much longer. It's like a, sci- it's a science. You could, change, you could change your talk, but can you change your walk? Like That's what it really boils down to. You could say whatever, but does your actions show now, what you're Now, do you think even if she, if, let's say if she does change... What will happen with everything she's done in the past? It's not gonna go away. I'm not, the past, the, but no matter what we, we can't change our past. No, no I get it. But I, and I'm not saying it for me. I'm saying it for you guys. Like your guys are saying, no, we don't have to use making the selling 100. percent But like, let's talk about this scenario of women that have been maybe like how she was 
through her 20s, up to 28. And then at 28, they changed. And you met her at 29. Now, to you, are you going to be like, to you, is that, is that like, you're going to treat her as like, as she is am, then? Am I grown ass, am I, in this hypothetical scenario, am I, am I grown ass, 29 year old ass is about to be sitting here asking you like, yo, about your, what you did before me? No, I'm not going to know. I'm not going to ask. Now, if the, cause if the walk changes, like he said, if the walk changes and it's like, you actually start to, to talk the talk and walk the walk, I'm, I might could tell, there's going to be little signs, little things that I could tell. But I'm not about to deep dive into your background. And if you you change it as a person, the person that I'm meeting at 29 isn't the girl that you were at 23, 24, 25. I can't hold you to that standard. What if, so she, me had, personally, what if she had like 20, 30 bodies? That's not, I don't care. I was just testing. I was just testing. <laughs> no, I don't know. The reason I ask is I'm not in that situation. I'm not asking her. I wouldn't know. But what if you I don't think knew? you got to ask, though. What if you knew? I still don't really care. Okay. And no, I don't have to ask. I can, I can, I can gauge it. Ballpark. Like, I don't think you got to ask. Like, Garen, like I don't think well, you should ask. I think but... it makes sense. Like, once you see somebody, based on their experiences, how they carry themselves, how they react in certain situations, that kind of tell you how much they've been through uh, over their life. And that will give you an idea of like, oh shit, like you've already gone through this. You've well, already you seen. Just listen, like women, women like yeah. to talk. Just pay, oh, yeah. just pay attention. Could, well, y'all, y'all too listening, motherfuckers. Y'all know. Y'all pay attention. So it's like, that's why all you really got to do is pay attention. And then you do what you want with that information. What if you're aware that she has a bad rep? It, like, like, do you want to be with somebody that it's like, oh, yo, he's with the. I think it depends. The thing of the, stage, the town, whatever, whatever. I think it depends at the stage that I'm at in life, like. But right now. Right now, I don't. I don't have no friends, bro. Like, not that I don't have, have friends, but friends. Like, I don't be around a lot of people to where I would even know that kind of shit. Like, like. I, well, we're speaking in a hypothetical. We're not speaking in a literal. We're speaking right. in a scenario. So in a in a in a literal in a literal. Shit, nah. I mean, nobody wants to be with somebody that's been with everybody. But if it's like, if you ain't been with the homies, then. But you said. If she's in that walk, right? But if you got 20, 30, 40 bodies, they don't necessarily mean that they're all here in Philly and I'm going to know at least half of them. It doesn't matter where. It's just as lo she has that reputation and people are aware. And it could come to a, po a point where it's brought up to you. She, like, it depends. It, it, it honestly depends. Like, because it, it's like... On what? Because the... If we going to really get into this, the def, everybody's definition of the, of, of the word hoe is different. So a hoe for you might be like some a girl that got more than five bodies. For me, that's the same. But we're not talking... Oh, you only we're got not five bodies? Let me talk to you. We're not talking so, about a hoe. We're, talk, we're talking about a person that has a bad reputation. Like, we're not even made, boiling it to the specifics of, oh, a hoe. Or okay, so the definition of a bad reputation is different for for both of us. Which, what you might think is crazy that she got fucked by... She, been, she got... Fuck by a whole bunch of dudes or whatever. I might not care. Or, she might have been in a whole bunch of threesomes with dudes that ran a whole bunch of trains on her and shit. And it don't I might have not to care. be that. It don't have to be that she fucked a lot of people. It could be that she's not known to be loyal. And maybe she was only in three relationships, but she only cheated with one person. In those relationships, like yeah, I, you know I, what I mean. It's, Just we're talking about that, like you know what I mean, like that's different. I mean, yeah, I mean, it's no, a bad I, reputation, though. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. It, it depends. It's, it's on your definition of the word. <clears throat> Okay, bro. Let me let me see what you what you think. No, I don't know. I'm I'm saying out of this one because I don't play in this bowl card anymore. But the the only other thing We're I can say in hypothetical. The only other hypothetical I could give you. I wouldn't even say relationships. What if you make it to twenty years? You're like, oh, I never been in a serious relationship, but I'm looking for someone serious now. So you, what, what are you saying? What are you asking exactly? Like, like if she gets to twenty nine and she tells you, I've never had a relationship. You're trying to say like, how should we gauge it? That would ring off something in my head, yes. Like, so, like, so, something yeah. would be like, all right, why, why, like, have you why? Never been in a that would be my instant, like, you've thought. just never met anybody you've ever, like, have you, like, so how you, you've never talked to a guy before? What do you mean you've never, no, I have, but it's I just, it's not that they I, haven't I, talked, I, that's I, not what I said. No, 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 I know, yeah. this, I'm going, this is me and the girl having the conversation right now. I'm, I'm talking to myself, but I'm, you know what I'm saying? This is her reply to me because it's like, oh, right, so why haven't you ever, like, you, like, you'll talk to the guy. But you only talk to them for a little bit or whatever, and then they, you can just break it down into the conversation. And then without her saying, "Oh yeah, I slept with a whole bunch of dudes and just casually dated them or whatever," you can you can pick that up. That's not like a hard thing to pick up. No, I didn't say it was a hard. No, thing no, to pick but up I'm or, just answering your question. Yeah, that's what I mean. But I don't know because I, I, I just think dating nowadays is like the weirdness. But and the reason that came up was because I saw a TikTok of a, of a girl breaking down because she got rejected because the guy figured out that she was about to hit tri triple digits in her body count, and and she was going. 
crazy on TikTok about it. And I'm like, I feel like she's making it worse for herself. Probably, like you now you ex- saying it in the whole world, but I don't know. I don't would know. You, would you be with somebody that got triple digit body count? Would I date her? Mm-hmm. No, I'm gonna keep it a B. No, mm-hmm. today at 26, right now today, no. Oh. Well, you, 20 and all. Oh, what, if you, what if you found out after the fact? What if you didn't know before? Because you said you wouldn't know. You wouldn't ask. What if, well, what if you found out after the fact? I mean, I don't know how, how I found out, but I'm going to keep it a bean. It depends. Depends on what? All the things that I was saying before, like... If you if you if you fuck the homies if you I ain't gonna lie that's a tough that's a tough yeah, pill to swallow because you gotta come sit on. there and think about it I'm like how long have I been with this girl and if she's in like not for nothing but these are kind of some of the conversations that we've had before but it's like not not for nothing but it's like how good a, how good can you be at a relationship or like she's gonna have a whole bunch of things like she might just be willing to like leave relationships quick or like just a lot of bullshit that comes with somebody that's dated so many people or like even if she like. She got to twenty nine. Well, she's and walking the she walk. Got the she's walking the walk. But she got to twenty nine, and all those hundred bodies were just all casual. Just her fucking with somebody like she like it's gonna be hard to date somebody like that. So I probably wouldn't even reach that point of like. But you found like you feeling her. You know things are going great. You know you you like this girl, but then you end up finding out she got triple bodies. I'll move that bitch somewhere else. That's my wife. We outside. I'll call it cap. I'll call it cap. You lying, bro. You lying. What am I supposed to do? I'm gonna keep it a I'm gonna keep it a stack. Once I find that out, I'm like, oh man, all like, that goes out. It depends, it depends, man. Because it took you that long to like, nah, man. Nah, my That's a lot of dick a year. I'm gonna keep it a beat. Yes, bro. I'm like, if you start fucking at like 15, 16, 17, let's say like you start fucking at like 16, from 16 to 29, 13 years, 100 divided by 13. And like, this is hypothetical because people like that is a is very, from personal experience, it's hard for people to change. Like when that's how they were from young and like. It's not that bad. Nah, dude, they were born again. Uh, you shut up. Shut the hell up. You <laughs> didn't even say what it's serious. No, but nah, I, just, I just did the math on that. Not for, not, I, I understand how people get to 100 bodies though, especially like a, like a woman, like an attractive woman that like I. Yeah, like speaking solely from the point of view of like just, just, matter, just potential matter. potential people that you can date or sleep with or whatever. Like you're gonna see, you're gonna meet dudes that find you attractive, and there's always gonna be dudes on you. So for you to fuck Especially seven to woman. eight dudes a year on a 13 year span from 16 from 16 to 29, like that's I I get it. I mean, what's not to get? I mean, you could be a woman, and you don't even have to be that bad, and you can still reach that number. Yeah. Yep. It's, it's a lot harder for a guy to reach that number, but all I can say is, can that person even be in a relationship? That's what I'm saying. If there's any women out there with 100 plus bodies, please hit the comment section down below. Um, follow us on Instagram at neverfamouspodcast.com. Um, Nick dot com. <laughs> <laughs> Never Famous Pod. You know what I'm saying? We, we would like to bring you on the pod. My man Vinny got a check for you. Uh, hit the comment <laughs> section regardless. <laughs> let, us, let us know. <laughs>